Hi, I'm Dr. Niall Dagstani, naturopathic medical doctor. So I've been practicing for about 16 years now. I graduated from Bastyr University uh, naturopathic medical school outside of Seattle, Washington in 2004. I began my practice as more or less a general practitioner of naturopathic medicine. Shortly after that, I ended up uh, actually having a conversation with a colleague of mine from medical school, medical school who was working with a hormone replacement practice in the area that focused on pellets specifically as a delivery form. And she shared with me that her patients seemed to do even better with pellets as that specific delivery form. So I ended up looking into that a little bit more and actually ended up joining that practice myself. One of the really amazing things that he's bringing is ozone therapy. Aside from his understanding of hormone replacement therapy, an expert in subcutaneous pellet therapy, he's bringing on this ozone therapy that's really going to be able to bring something very special to the hormone zone and for all of our patients. I also bring to the table uh, something that's unique to the practice now, which is ozone therapy. So ozone therapy is what you hear about in terms of protecting from UV radiation. It is the ozone that you hear about in that sense. Um, ozone gets uh, discussed as being a harmful thing, but that's only really when it's mixed with pollution in the atmosphere. You can use it medically in many different ways. So um, it's extremely therapeutic as also kind of a foundational therapy, almost like hormones. Really everything that you do from a treatment perspective works better when you add ozone to it. So one of the great aspects of ozone as well is that it is a, an effective driver of metabolism. And we all kind of worry about that, especially as we get older, it seems more difficult to control weight, to just feel energy, as energetic as we would like to, so on. Ozone, one of the primary ways that ozone is actually working in the body is increasing oxygen and oxygen utilization. So ozone itself is actually doing that by stimulating mitochondria function, primary aspect of it, and that goes towards that utilization. So ozone helps to not only increase the oxygen carrying capacity of red cells, red blood cells, but it allows the red cells to more effectively release the oxygen to the tissues. So with ozone therapy, medical ozone therapy, there are really many different ways that it can be utilized. So you can actually ozonate water, drink it, help with GI issues. You can blow ozone into orifice, so you can blow it into ear, nose, sinus infection, ear infection, so on. Clinically, two of the primary ways it gets utilized is through, in essence, an ozone IV. It gets referred to within ozone therapy as major autohemotherapy. That's basically an ozone IV. You draw the patient's blood, you add ozone to the blood, mix it together, and then drip it back in through the patient's vein. That's one primary clinical way to utilize it. The most effective, strongest form, really, of ozone therapy that's available in the world, in essence, at this point, is something that, could call, that gets called extracorporeal blood ozonation and oxygenation. Mouthful, so EBOO, E-B-O-O, -O, is the abbreviated form of that. I'm particularly um, glad, pleased, to be able to offer uh, patients that particular form. There are only literally at this point a handful of practitioners, practitioners in the country who are offering, utilizing EBU treatment in their clinics. The way that EBU actually works is that you are connected in essence to some tubing. One tube is pulling blood out of an arm. It's getting sent through the tube into ozone, it's getting ozonated uh, by an ozone generator. There's a filter, filtration process after that, and then it's sent back into the body through other limb, other arm. So that allows there to be a much greater amount of blood that's getting ozonated. With the ozone IV, which is a great treatment in itself, you're limited to about 250 mils or so of blood that's being treated. With EBU, it's a, approximately a one hour treatment, continuous flow of blood. So you're literally treating 
two and a half to three liters of blood. We have about five liters of blood in our body total, so that's half to two thirds of your total blood volume that's actually receiving the treatment. So 2,000 to 3,000 milliliters of blood versus the 250 or so that's getting treated through major autohemotherapy or ozone IV. So it's a much more effective form in that sense. You're also receiving a much greater quantity of the ozone because of that one hour duration, the continuous flow. So it's literally about 15 ozone dialysis treatments with the Ubu. So that's a second major advantage to it. Third major advantage to Ibu is, at least with some forms of Ibu, which is the form that we utilize at the hormone zone, is filtration. So you're not only receiving the ozone, and one of the things that ozone helps to do is to kill off pathogens, bacteria, viruses, so on. So it's not only helping to kill off those pathogens, but it's then filtering them out of the blood instead of simply returning um, those um, undesirables back into your system. And so along with Lyme disease and other infectious issues, ozone is very helpful for cardiovascular uh, disease. And one of the reasons for that is that oxygen utilization, oxygen increase in utilization, which is one of the primary issues with any kind of cardiovascular disease. If the blood isn't getting enough oxygen into it, then that's gonna have uh, numerous effects. Primary benefit of ozone is that oxygenation, and again, not only the oxygenation, but the utilization through the mitochondria stimulation of the oxygen itself. So uh, helpful for any type of blood disorder, helpful also for any type of pain issue. So one of the ways that ozone gets utilized and one of the ways that we utilize ozone in the clinic too is to inject it into soft tissue. So pain related issues are a primary focus for ozone therapists. Dr. Schallenberger has coined the term prolozone. So that is where you're drawing the patient's blood, adding the ozone to it, and injecting it into localized tissue wherever that um, pain issue may be, knees, ankles, shoulder, back, what have you. A very effective ozone, a very effective uh, addition to prolotherapy, which is where that term prolozone comes from, PRP, platelet-rich plasma, adding the ozone to that, stem cell therapy, all gets enhanced with the addition of the ozone to it.